Hello and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm your host Jag Thunder and this is Minecraft. And in this tutorial I'm going to be doing a basic build craft tutorial. Uh, I'm going to go over all the motors and how to set them up, uh, all the pipes and how to set them up, and also the quarries and how to set those up, and then also a nice sorting system of how you can uh, sort everything coming out of the, uh, the quarries. So anyways, um, we're just going to take a quick look of what I've got set up for you and what we're going to look at. And basically your uh, imagination limits you to as far as you want to go once you uh, understand the basics of how this works. Of course, there's a lot more to it, uh, but I'm not going to get into it because it's just a basic tutorial. So anyway, sit back, relax, slap yourself in the face, kick yourself in the nuts, and have a good time. And here we go. Okay, so basically, guys, the first thing we're going to go over are the motors. You got a redstone motor, and then you have a steam motor, and also a combu uh, combustion motor, or engines, rather, whatever. Um, your redstone is your least effective, your steam is the next one, and then the combustion is the next one up. Uh, depending on what you're building or how much power you need is what uh, will determine what motor you will use. Uh, the redstone is best for extracting things, um, and then your steam engine, I'll show you what that's best for here in just a second. And then, of course, your combustion engine is going to give you the most power. So uh, let's take a look at uh, basically uh, how to set up your pumps, uh, because your water pumps will be the first thing that you want to get set up. Because if you're going to be using your combustion uh, engines, um, they're going to require some sort of a coolant or, um, of water or whatever. You can also fuel them with uh, lava or also uh, oil. So there's three different uh, fuel types that you can fuel the combustion engine with. The best is fuel itself, and we'll make a refinery, and I'll show you how to set that up too, because that actually gives you the most uh, efficiency for, uh, for using the combustion motors. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a pump, and most people, when they set up a pump, they run right to the ocean, and, and I'm, I'm good for it. I did it too. Run out there and threw a bunch of pumps in there, and, and then ends up sucking all the water down, and you either have to have uh, single-player commands or whatever to fix the water every time it, it gets fucked up. So anyways, uh, a little bit of messing around and uh, figured out that you can use an infinite water source. It actually works the best. Uh, just put a, a block of water in each corner, and then this will not go away as long as you use a steam motor. If you use uh, a redstone, of course, the redstone doesn't pick up the uh, the water, and then the combustion engine actually sucks it up too fast. So the best one to use is actually the steam the steam motor. So basically, you set your pump up in one of the corners, and then uh, you'll see a little extraction thing come down, and that'll stick down in the water. And then we're going to go ahead and put the pump behind it. And, of course, you can either use redstone torch or, or a switch or a lever to, uh, to start it up. And then, uh, of course, we've got to put some, uh, some coal in it. And then once that's started up, now you can run your pipes. And then we'll go ahead and talk about the pipes real quick. Uh, the best ones to use are your golden waterproof pipe. And then uh, your water, uh, wooden waterproof pipe is for extractions. Um, for the pump, all you need right now is just the golden one. And we're going to run it right into uh, the storage tanks, and those are pretty self-explanatory. But you can run this out the sides or out the top and just set it up, and it automatically connects to it. And everything looks good. Throw the switch, and it'll automatically start sucking water. Now, if you had a combustion motor there, it would automatically suck this water up and cool it down. But like I said, the infinite water source will not work with a combustion motor because it'll just it'll suck this dry too quick. So anyways... Uh, that's how the pump works, and it just fills your tanks up, and that they'll just keep filling that up just as high as you want it to go. Uh, while we're talking about uh, filling things up, I'm also using an uh, additional mod called uh, Additional Pipes, and it's what that allows you to do is actually transport or teleport water and different items and things uh, in your build craft world, and also industrial craft, by the way. Uh, is the reason why I use this is because when I first started running Buildcraft in 1.1, there were some chunk issues with if you start running a lot of these pipes from way out here and way over there and underground and everywhere else, Minecraft has a problem loading, uh, trying to figure out all the calculations for everything that's moving, and it lags things out, and I've actually crashed my world doing it. Uh, so a buddy of mine told me to use the additional pipes, and, and it basically takes all this crap out of the middle and it sends it right to where you're going and that's pretty easy to set up too uh, all you're going to need is just the uh, waterproof teleport pipe and the mod itself is really simple to install uh, it's just a zip file you put it straight into your mod folder and that's it that's all you got to do but anyways uh 
put your pipe on here and then put your, uh, let's move that all the way for a minute, um, your teleport pipe here and then set up your frequency, uh, basically either plus 100, minus 100, whatever. We're going to go 710 because I've already got one set up at 710 and then can receive is false because we're not receiving it here. We're actually going to be receiving it over here and this is the same one that I've got right there. You just right click, it's on 710 and it shows how many pipes are connected, one, and this is, uh, you need to s uh, switch this to true. That way it uh, automatically starts sucking it in. As you can see, it's pulling the water from here now. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, very handy, and uh, you can also use the item teleports later. I'll show you in the uh, later in the tutorial. Uh, it works the same way. It's just, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Uh, while we're on the pumps real quick, um, the oil and the lava do not respawn. Uh, so you're either going to have to find a very large source of either one or use world edit um, to, to make yourself a big, big pot of it. Uh, once it's run dry, that's it. If you're not modding or, or cheating, um, you're going to have to move your pumps and everything else later. So anyways, that's the easiest way to set that up. And we'll fly over here real quick and I'll show you my pump system. All right, so basically this is the same thing that I have over there. It's, there's, there's nothing different. Behind that wall is the steam motors, and um, I have item transport uh, coal into the back of those whenever they need them. And like I said, so the infinite water sources, and like I said, it's it's just 10 of them, just like we built over there. And then these just teleport into my factory uh, where the tanks are. Real simple setup. Okay, now that you've got your water set up, now you want to set up for your, your actual power. Decide how much power you want. This will just depend on, you know, your your requirements. I have three quarries set up right now, and I'll show you my system up here in just a minute. But this is just basically how to set it up. Um, whenever you set your combustion engines down, you want to make sure that you first prime them. Otherwise, they won't run. And like I said, fuel is the best thing to use, but you can use oil or lava. Uh, the water will automatically be extracted as soon as this is turned on, so you don't need to do that. And I've already got these all set up. And then to get the power out, you're going to need... Um, not the wooden ones, you want the conductive ones. So you've got a wooden conductive pipe and then you have a golden conductive pipe. Those are the two ones, two pipes that you're going to use for this. And I always set a block here to get the first one started. And then, uh, and then all we have to do from there is just go up one and then just run it down. And I threw that on the fucking grass back there. And that's good. And I threw another one on the fucking ground. And then the next thing that you do is just connect all your motors here and here. There. Whoops, that's not there. Right there. But this is your basic setup. And then you can route your power out the other side just like that. Or you can also use the power teleport pipe. That works the same way as the waterproof one. Is just enter your frequency um, as false, and then whenever the power is going to, uh, you want to make it true. But we're going to run these to refineries. Uh, anyways, just bring that down, bring that down. Those don't need the wooden ones. These are to extract power. So we're just pushing power into it. And um, so that's all you need here. And then you'll need, of course, oil. Uh, the oil can go in the back. It can go underneath. It depends on how you have your pipe set up. Um, but then again, we're going to go back to the golden ones and set these up like this. All right, now your oil's connected. And then you've got power, and we'll throw this on here in just a minute. All of these will need a uh, power source. Um, I like to use red power, but you can use redstone. And red, uh, red power... Uh, and you're, if you're using too many items, the actual wire is not here. So I'm going to show you how to craft that real quick. Is what you're going to need is this uh, red ingot bullshit and or alloy, and you're just going to put three of them across like that, and then just pick it up. And because I'm in uh, like creative mode, that's not going to disappear. I actually only need one of them. So like I said, every pump is going to need a power source to it to start up. And we're just going to run this bullshit out here. Not going to get real fancy with it. And the OCD, get the fuck out of my way. And we're going to run this down. And so give each one some power. And fuck, 
Fuck me, fuck me. Well, like I said, it ain't going to be fucking pretty, but you get the idea. It's got to have power to start up. And we'll pull this out and put a switch on it and pull the crank on it. And you'll see the power you're producing will go up into the, the tubes here and then also up into the main channel. And like I said before, it's got to be connected to something else or power will not show. And that's the problem that we're having right now is that we're not showing any kind of power. All right, so if you're producing power and it's not up in your pipe and you've got everything connected either by the teleports or by a solid pipe and you're still not getting any power through it, you need oil in here to make these work. So you've got to turn your extraction pipes on first and get oil into the tanks. Once oil is into the tanks and it starts filling up, then these will register that it needs power. So it'll go ahead and suck the power from here and off it'll go. See, there it is. A little bit of troubleshooting for you. But anyways, once that is in there, these will turn green. When these are green, you're getting the, uh, the maximum uh, power that these things will put out or the maximum efficiency. Uh, and then this, these will just start filling up. And then to extract that out of here, you can either put, um, like I said, the redstone engines are the best for this because they don't, they get hot, but they don't really overheat real bad. And they can just pump, 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 and you don't have to worry about them. Uh, so anyway, you can just flip that on and it'll just start extracting that out. And there again, you can put the teleport pipes on the bottom, uh, the item or the waterproof ones, and that'll fill into your tanks. There's several different ways you can set this up. Like I'm just showing you the basics. Uh, you can just let your mind creativity, uh, however you want to set this thing up. But anyways, there it is filling that up. And then I've got to play over here too. And then I'll just suck that out. And as long as there's oil, and power to it, it'll just keep refining it. And then you can set up all your switches and all your wiring however you want. So that's the basic refinery and all your basic pipes. Okay, so as you can see here, my main uh, factory here has 16 combustion engines. And the purple pipes here, I've got one is for fuel and one is for water. And the water is being extracted from my big water towers downstairs that you saw in the preview in the beginning. And then I've got my power separated a little bit. So I've got my main power for the the engines up here and then that turns on the refinery down here and then the pumps are pumping and then the purple pipes extracted over into some other holding tanks and then this here is for the actual extraction to happen because otherwise right now before I threw that switch it's, just, it's actually just going to make the fuel and then just sit there all right as you can see the pumps are pumping i've got the uh the extraction pipes going to the combustion engine up, upstairs so i'm reusing the fuel and then also these are pumping and that's sucking from the bottom and going up there to the refinery so it always has oil and then over on the uh other side is the water and those are all full and when those get empty i can turn on the offshore rig to uh to fill these back up that way i have a constant supply of water and then here's my single pump. I, that's, that's really all you need. It takes uh, quite a while to re actually refine uh, oil into fuel. So one pump is plenty. If you put two or three on an endless pit, it'll suck it down really quick, and you'll just be over here fixing it a lot. And, of course, I use a steam engine. And then that's power from upstairs, and then I also put a manual switch on it, too, if I'm down here. So we'll go around there and look at that real quick. And then I can just fill that up. I think that's like 50 blocks deep. Uh, and last time I filled it up, it went down nine blocks to fill up uh, two of these big towers. So anyways, that's the refinery, and that's pretty much all your uh, power sources and how those work. All right, so over here I have another setup, and these are using steam engines. Um, because like I said, they don't require water. Uh, they do get hot, and if they do run too long, they will explode. And basically, they'll just take some pipes with them. If these go, they take about a 4x4 four four block radius around it and the pipes. So these are a little more dangerous. You want to keep these cool and uh, kind of keep an eye on them. They go from blue to orange to red, and then they're dead. Uh, so that's how those work. And then these are the teleport pipes for the coal. And I set up a chest over here full of coal with an extraction pipe and then an item teleport pipe. The uh, item teleport type uh, pipe uh, goes over to all of these. They're all on the same frequency. And then also out there on my quarries, too, I'm running the steam. So all the, uh, all the steam engines all come from this right here. So anyways, this, this system here, this runs three quarries. So this is three, four, five, six. This is 12, 12 engines, and this is plenty to run three quarries. 
and we'll, I'll show you how to set those up in a second. But anyways, I turn on the quarries, and then I turn on the uh, the sorting. And as you can see, the power in the line is pretty decent. It's it's enough to run everything that I need, no problem. And then over here, this is just uh, organizing pipes is all this is. Uh, this is an item teleport with an extraction pipe on it. And then I'm using cobblestone piping. And then the gold piping, if you put a torch to it, a redstone torch, it will actually speed things up and... If you don't use it, it'll, it'll go really slow. Your diamond pipes are really simple to set up. Uh, basically, you got all these colors here, depending on which direction your pipes are going. You can put all your filters in. As you can see, the black one here is copper. So there's my copper. And then you can see over here, this is my coal. And the black one, you can barely see it, but it's in there, is coal. And if you don't put nothing in the other ones, it just keeps going on until it finds, finds what it needs. So down here is where I have my cobblestone, and that's in the red. And that goes over here, and if I don't put anything on that, it just randomly, you know, I got a 25% chance of what chest it goes into. But because this is the closest, this one's going to fill up first. Uh, everything else, as far as my dirt, sand, and all that bullshit, that goes outside. Dirt, sand, and gravel. I just put that in the green one, and then it goes right through there. It goes outside, and I've got a lava pit. So that's pretty easy. Uh, setting your sorting thing up there, again, is just uh, creativity, uh, how you want your pipes to flow. But uh, out here, I've got my quarry, and then the uh, the power pipe coming from the steam motors, and then a chest. If I don't have these running, I can fill those up, and then I can turn the quarries off, and then actually pull the uh, the sorting machine without without the quarry running. So that's how that's set up. So let me show you how to uh, actually actually build a quarry real quick. Okay, so the standard quarry, when you set it down, is it sets in the middle, and this is the default size. Um, people have asked me, well, well, how do you change the size? I, I want it bigger, I want it smaller. Well, that's pretty easy to do. All you do is you grab these little marker guys, uh, the landmarks, and these have to be perfectly aligned with each other for this to work. You can't have one on one level and one on the other. You actually have to set these up um, straight across from each other. So I'm just going to set up a little small one right now. You can put one here. And you, okay, you're walking down here and you're like, okay, well, I can't figure out where I'm at. If you stick a redstone torch next to it, right here, you'll get these blue lines, you know, so it can actually show you and give you a nice guide of where to put this, this marker and line them up. And then you can put another one here. And now uh, we can go over here. I'm just going to put it right, right there. Like I said, if I don't, it'll be off level and I'll have to build that up. But you only need three of them. Once you have three of them set up, then you come back to the, the corner one. Let's go to this one because it's easier to get to. Um, you can tear these off. Let's get them out of there first. And right click it, and that gives you a red line. Grab your quarry, set it down, and there it is, custom size. Add your engines, your extraction pipes, and whatever you want to run it and start it up and let it go. Uh, you can put a chest next to it, it'll automatically extract into the chest, or you can run a pipe out the top into a chest. Uh, I find it easier to actually just run it right into the chest, that way you don't have a, uh, a lot of piping and bullshit. Unless you want to sort it right out by the quarry, um, you can do that. You can run the pipe out, your diamond pipes, and sort it right out here. So anyways, that's, uh, that's how the quarry works. All right, guys, so that's basically my uh, BuildCraft basic tutorial for everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. Uh, I'm in the process of making an, an industrial craft one over here. This is going to be a nuclear power station, and I'm uh, actually with my friend and I on a private server building one. If you go to my channel and check it out, I've got about six or seven episodes up right now, and we've got a pretty good-sized industrial craft, build craft, uh, nuclear power station going. It looks really good. But anyways, uh, make sure you check that out when that comes up. I appreciate it. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.